dear viewers and listeners uh, today i selected a topic which is directly related to our uh, today's life uh, almost all the people of this world have been affected by corona virus covid 19 in one way or the other uh, this essay will help the students who want to search the related stuff on uh, such topics uh, i wrote this essay of more than 1000 words for my students uh, i'm going to read it from uh, each slide uh, the topic means as to what would be the condition of the world if the novel corona virus goes on spreading uh, with the same current speed and doesn't come to stop the topic is the scenario of the world after covid-19 pandemic the scenario of the world after covid-19 pandemic down through ages the eyes of mankind have not seen such a scene in which our planet was taken by storm due to the uncontrollable situation created by uh, corona virus covid-19 with far ranging consequences when we analyze the whole scenario we arrive at a conclusion that this invisible virus seems not only stronger than the strongest of men but is also going to have a greater impact on human morality over the years our routine activities and mindsets are established man hated man nations attack nations and humans became inhuman for others although this took millions of years man was not satisfied with his greed atrocities and cruelties a time has come that man has started thinking about life from another angle that everything should not be as we think they are human inclination to change his behavior and way of thinking can be possible only when something strange happens which is beyond his control corona virus is something like that i see the positive impact of this pandemic which apparently started from china but it spread in the whole world according to my vision it will change the whole world of mankind all the born or unborn viruses in their state of calmness may distract us from taking precautionary measures for our future generations my essay is not to be considered a treatise of a scholar but a minor effort to see the positive effects of this invisible creatures presence on human life as a matter of fact man's social activities will take a new turn man will start helping man in spite of keeping distance because he will see his own survival in the safety of another man for some considerable duration of time man will forget handshake and social gatherings self restrictions will be imposed the disparity among the people and nations is going to come to an end whatever has so far been observed it has also upended global geopolitics world leaders are struggling with this pandemic that is rippling across the entire planet the whole world undoubtedly is at a critical juncture on several fronts such as political social economic and environmental and above all survival men will strongly believe in cleanliness wellness of health and fitness immunization and vaccination will be the next target of man in the time to come the big warlords whose mission was to defeat their opponents will turn to peace because by that time the bag would have been broken by the straw the people will renounce their leaders because of their sick mentalities it is but natural that man will be compelled to turn to god and his message would be accepted by most of the denizens of the world we would be more moral people would not stick officious nose in the business of others uh, this pandemic has destroyed the rhythm of lives 
crashed stock exchanges and disrupted markets and revealed the incompetence of governments. Resultantly, it will certainly lead to permanent shifts in political and economic power in ways that will become apparent only later. Such viruses that have serious outcomes in the world have also been the triggers of great transformations in the political, social and economic order. There seems to be no empirical evidence at this point to support the theories as to where the coronavirus was produced. The scientists would look into the matter of its rampant spread and the way this virus in Iran differentiated from the one in China. It will lead the scientists to make research to find the real cause. They would work on the testimonial of the difference to find, to find out whether these viruses change their shape according to the region or climate. The coronavirus pandemic is considered as a great threat to both national and international security. China has got scathing con contempt from most of the world because they think that the center of coronavirus was Wuhan city in China. Such hateful attitude of those who blame China would certainly give birth to new issues in the world because the dominant narrative is that Beijing is once again the new sick man of Asia. In future, man would undoubtedly concentrate his energies for the betterment of mankind's hygienic facilities. And an idea would strongly grow in the minds of the people that spending on environmental protection is much more essential than spending on big armies for the protection of the borders of their countries. A huge amount of nation budget would be allocated for the services of humanity. It is not a matter of a facetious attitude to adopt such a way of life where there are least chances of the same kinds of viruses attack on human beings. Coronavirus gave the realization that life is given once to all of us. In the time to come, the big powers of the planet would be least arrogant for their physical gains. So to speak, the USA, Italy, Spain and Britain have fallen from the acme of their scientific progress with their heads downward. Generosity will be commonly seen in the world as an aftermath of this crisis as almost all the countries would have fallen prey to recession and helplessness in spite of having progress in the field of present medical science. The current traveling mode may be replaced with some new technological way of human movement from one place to another so that man can have more safety. To strategize the security of the countries would be mainly focused on the biotech progress of the enemy countries. We need to be a global nation. As a writer says, a sneeze on one continent has direct repercussions on another. We are connected, we are one. Not needless to say, man's real worship would not be in any worshipping place of any religion but the real worship would be performed in the hearts of others. This will give them much contentment of heart and peace of mind. All the mentioned things are to happen on this planet. However, collective efforts will have to be finally made to avoid any unforeseen and unexpected event in life. Unity, regardless of color, race, religions, regions, would work wonders in the world because we have to stay here and we have to protect this world from any opposing force.